so we just arrived to London. We are, um, it's actually almost night, so we're not gonna do much today. Just um, probably eat and then probably walk around and then go to sleep. <laughs> so I guess tomorrow would be actual. So it's our first day in England and I convinced my parents to go to Nando's. And if any of you guys like One Direction, you know Niall eats here. That's how I was like, Nando's! Niall eats there! Let's go to Nando's! So, it's, it's good. I think Ben's behind me. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Hello! London Tower. It's over there. But we're a little bit London! I love this city. I thought the buses in London were the two-story ones for sightseeing, but actually all the buses are like that. Look at that car, do you see it? We made it! over this when he went to Neverland with Wendy. We are in an English market. I'm eating at an Argentinian restaurant in the market. Oh my god, they're real! They're so far away though. station and I just got back from platform nine and three quarters and if you guys know what Harry Potter is you have to know what that is. I actually didn't think that there was actually a platform nine and three quarters but there is and it's pretty amazing so if you guys are ever in London you should really check it out and you get a free picture. Well not a free picture. They take your picture free and then you have to pay for the picture but it's still pretty good. So um, we're at Harrods right now. We've pretty much done all of London in one day and I'm exhausted. And it's only 7 o'clock, so, but it's been great. I love it. The Louis Vuitton lady just gave me two free posters. I like this place. All this food, it's like a supermarket in here. You know, everything in this place is really expensive, but I like coming here because I remember what kind of lifestyle I want to aim for. And I want a Rolex out. It's a wine bottle. It's like bigger than me almost. Wine costs almost 10,000 pounds. Who would pay that for wine? Probably, like really rich people. Okay, so it's our second day in London, second and final day. So we so pretty much did everything yesterday, let's see what we're gonna do today. So today we're going to Kensington Gardens and that Albert Subway Station. It's so big, it's an entire city under London. I mean, I've been to New York subways and they're not this big. You know, something that really surprises me about London is that there's so many people and you don't see anything on the floor. Like, it's such a clean city. I mean, obviously, there's some places where it's cleaner than others. And people are actually really nice. I mean, I've always heard Americans talk about English people like, oh, those Brits. But I don't know. They're actually super nice. And, like, I don't know. Everyone here is so lovely. I love them. This line of people waiting to get into the museum is incredibly long. So I just ran into Gaston, and if you don't know who Gaston is, he's a uh, Argentinian actor. And I was like, looking at him when he was walking by me, I was like... And I saw him, and I was like, Gaston? And he like turned around, and I was like, oh my god! And, oh my god, it was so amazing. Ah! But my inner fangirl. We're here! Kensington Gardens! Where the last boys come. Kensington Palace. I always thought if I ever came to London to live, I'd want to live in Kensington. Probably because Peter Pan. That's about it. So we're in Kensington Gardens and the palace is beautiful and I'm looking at swans. I've never seen a swan in my life and I've only heard of them. Well, I mean, I know what a swan is, but I've never actually seen one. So I was like, I think it's a swan. Probably like not a swan, but it looks like a swan. I'm pretty sure it's a swan. <laughs> Look how pretty these houses are. The Princess Diana Memorial Walk. So we're gonna take that. The Queen's Royal Coach. One of them. Never mind again, I found another one that I like better. Those aren't real people. This is. Time 
in London. So we're at the London Airport and we're getting ready to go to Amsterdam. I really enjoyed London. I really wish we could have stayed longer. But I guess I'm ready for Amsterdam now. 